Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Carlijn, but my friends call me Car. I love to travel and want to share my trips and adventures with you all on this vlog. Italy! Again, welcome to Italy! <laughs> and then she was hit by a car. Welcome back for another episode and this time I'm taking you around Puglia, Italy. Most of you don't know this but I used to live in Italy so I love traveling here in the summer and it's honestly one of my favorite places in the world. Goodness. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Oh, it's it's hot. so hot. It's really heavy. I put way too much rosemary. <laughs> So the reason for this trip to Puglia was for a wedding of friends of ours, so we added some days and made it into a little Italian vacay. Um, it's interesting how Italy is just so lovely, but then it's also kind of a dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it is though, like you're like driving through these towns and it's kind of like trashed and you're like, get me out of here. So yeah. much garbage, right? So much garbage. <laughs> yeah. But I never knew that in Bari was this bad, to be honest. No, I thought Bari was nice. That's okay. what mom said about Calabria, that it was just garbage everywhere. Mm. The first stop of the day was a place I've always wanted to visit before, but never got the chance to. Albero Bello! Come in. <laughs> Albero Bello. Bravissima! I think it's so difficult to say though, I trip over it all the time. Albero Bello. Albero Bello. Albero Bello. Yeah. This town is actually known for its trulli, which, is, which are stone, cone-shaped houses. They're all over. Albero Bello is nestled in the scenic Puglia region of Italy, a town that's not just charming but also rich in history thanks to its iconic Trulli houses. Traveling back to the 14th century, Albero Bello's Trulli houses were actually a genius solution to dodging property taxes. Nowadays, its unique homes hold the prestigious title of a UNESCO World Heritage Site. This town is quite big, so it can take you a few hours to wander around the streets and witness the 1,600 trulis that Alvaro Bello houses. And beware that in high summer this place can become quite busy and a little bit of a tourist trap, so be advised. The picturesque Trullo Church of San Antonio is also one of the gems of Alvaro Bello and is the only one of its kind. All in all, this place is a must visit for every travel enthusiast out there. Karin, you could hardly fit in a Trullo, I'm telling you. Yeah, no, look. Look, can you go stand next to that door? Number eight, yeah, going home. <laughs> right off to the next destination, we only had three days in Puglia and wanted to make the most out of the spare time we had. So here we're heading to Monopoli to hit the beach, which was super necessary as Italy can get really hot in the summer. And here we arrived at Cala Porta Vecchia, which is this beautiful sandy beach that's laid up against an old defense wall of the ancient town of Monopoli. It's a relatively popular beach, but doesn't experience crowds like many other European beaches. Visitors can bask in the Mediterranean sun here, take refreshing dips in the sea, or explore the charming streets of Monopoli just a stone's throw away. Here we are in Monopoly. Monopoly. Monopoly Italy. Um, one of the most <laughs> one of the most popular got this beaches. This ball there. Oh, can you stop this pulling my hair down? <laughs> one of the most popular beaches here in, uh, um, in Monopoly. Monopoly. <laughs> Welcome to Monopoly Beach. <laughs> no, so apparently Monopoly has a lot of beaches and we're in one of the nicest and there's a beautiful church there, lots of people here. The water is sublime. So nice. So sublime. Nice. So good. Anyway, so we're going off to some other beaches in a bit and stay tuned. Oh, he's over here. See All right, we just visited Monopoly Beach. Super, super nice. Loved it. And uh, now we're going to walk to the town. And I'm really feeling like a nice cold beverage. Did someone say beverageino? <laughs> Did someone say beverageino? Did someone say beverageino? <laughs> you can't even. You can't even that high, can I? So Cara had the brilliant idea of going to a tur church Outside dressed of a church. like this. <laughs> and this. Follow and subscribe. 
Every time I step foot inside an old town in Italy, I automatically declare it the most charming place that I've ever been, and Monopoly is certainly no exception. You can spend time here wandering the narrow streets filled with beautiful whitewashed buildings that end up in these tiny little squares where you'll stumble across one church after the other. Monopoly is worth a visit, even if it's just for a stroll in the old town, or to immerse yourself with some Pulian culture, or even to go clubbing at night time. It can offer something to every kind of visitor. Also, you will come across plenty of Italian bars where you can drink real coffee amongst real Italians. This is a must in Italy, of course. All right, wandering through the streets of Monopoly, this place is super picturesque. Everything's white. Uh, reminds me a little bit of Greece, but then it has, it has more character, I have to say. Um, but it's, it's really beautiful. Italy, really. <laughs> you heard it first here, guys. And all these narrow little vicoli, as they call them here. Super, super quaint. I love it. This is why I love Italy. Italy really is the best country in the world. Ciao. And I stand by what I say, Italy really is a magnificent place. From the culture, to the places, to the charm and the food. It's all excellent and it's no wonder why so many people dream of visiting Italy. Yeah, we're just walking around the town to see what we uh, don't think. Maybe have an, a hugo or aperol spritz or something, the Italian way, you know, as one should. As one should. And uh, enjoy Italy. Italy! Italy! <laughs> <laughs> Too good. Uh, it's just a uh, tourist space. Oh, that, that. Where am I? What am I seeing? Is that a little bar? Like a window that you can drink? Oh, it's a pasta wine bar. Hotel wine and beer. Honestly, that's the life right there. And then you sit here on the edge. Yeah, it's neat. Put in a short though. Can you check this out? Ah, prospects! Put in a prospects! Yeah. Oh, I'm not joking. Hidden smack in the center of Monopoli is the famous cathedral Maria Santissima della Madia, which we decided to go see, but unfortunately I was not allowed in myself because I was wearing shorts, so of course I put my sister Cara to work to get the contents. This church dates back to the 12th century when construction started. Sadly, it took really long to finish and during more turbulent times the building sustained a lot of damage and so it was decided to demolish it completely and rebuild it in the mid-1700s. This church is a must visit as it has some mind-blowing fresco goes on the wall. There, she's done it. She's done it again. She's hoisted her big boobs into a white bikini in order to attract a mate. Soon she will go in the water <laughs> and she will make her mating call. Her mating call goes something like this. As she pops her chest and... <laughs> And here we arrived at the cutest little beach. The sand bit was literally big enough to fit 10 people pretty cramped. Um, but this place had some beautiful caves as well. Now, for those of you who don't know, Italy is the country with some of the best and most beautiful transparent water in Europe. Uh, the more south you go, the better it actually gets. And Italy is also the country that embraces speedos the most. And you know what I'm talking about, the tiny swimwear that only tanned and oiled up Italians wear. I'm not personally a fan, but when you think of Italy, you think wine, pasta, and speedos. <laughs> Anyways, we were on quite a mission this day and headed off to the next beach. Third beach of Monopoly. Of Monopoly, we're going to Cala Verde. This entranceway looks like we're on Mars, seriously, look at that. Very stony. Had a little bit of a hard time coming here with the car, but it worked out. And yeah. There's the sea. So this was the third and last beach of the day we went to and honestly around Monopoly there is plenty to pick from. The coast here has a ton of beaches, some are public free beaches and others are more organized with beds that you can rent and beach clubs around it. It just depends on uh, what you're looking for. And after the beach we were quite knackered, I'm pretty sure we ate something but I was too tired to actually film it so we hit the hay and got up early the next day for some more sightseeing. We're off to Polignana Mare to that Cala Monachile. Cala Monachile? Monachile? Is it green? Yeah, it's green. Okay. And um, I'm ecstatic. It's like a very famous, popular beach. And, and the plan was to go at dawn. Dawn has arisen a while ago. Yes. Yep. Dawn has come and gone. Dawn has come and gone. But it's 
it's okay because we're still gonna go to the beach to get our tan. The beach should be here. <laughs> Polignano Mare may be my favorite place in Puglia. One of the most special aspects of Polignano Mare is its dramatic cliffside setting. This town is perched on limestone cliffs that offer breathtaking panoramic views of the Adriatic Sea. But it's not only that what makes this place so special. You can wander through the charming streets of the historic old town that has this medieval architecture and enchanting charm. Another gem of this town is the Ponte Lama Monachile, which is the iconic bridge towering out above the town which offers stunning views of the coastline. You can also head to the viewpoint in the historical center to witness both the bridge and the famous Scala Monachile beach. We've arrived in Polignana Mare and we're ready. Car bought her stash of toys for Noah, as per usual. We've got a little sand bucket. Like yeah. Obviously the worst place to buy it is in front of the so most expensive. famous beach. And, and, and now this is the way down to the beach. Here we go. Steep little incline. What's that now? It's all stone. What do you mean all stone? Well, it's not really a beach, it's a cove, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a good All right, we've set up camp. Uh, nothing better than a fresh cornetto. Fresh cornetto. A fresh cornetto. And a fresh cornetto on the beach. Mm. Viva Italia. <laughs> Cala Monachile is quite a famous and popular beach in Polignana Mare. This pebble beach boasts beautiful cliffs on one side and a walkable cave on the other. It has transparent turquoise water and an overall wonderful atmosphere. This beach has a dramatic cliffside where each year daredevil world-class divers jump off of in the Red Bull Cliff Diving Competition. But let's leave that to the pros and just worry about relaxing, shall we? Just a small pointer, this beach gets really crowded during the summer, so if you want to avoid the chaos and crowds, you should either avoid this beach altogether or go there early early. So busy! <laughs> this is not even the height of the day, as in, normally, it's like three times as crowded here, and we're early. That was so much fun. Although if you're in the if you're in the shadow, it's really cold. Yeah, but that was great. great. Look at this. I'm wedding ready. We're all weddinged up. We're in Polignano Mare. In still humble boat. Still, and we got ready for the wedding of Carla and Selene. And car's looking real Jackie Kennedy. I'm looking whimsical and uh, we're about to magic. depart to what is it again? Conversano. Conversano. We're gonna leave now basically and yeah, let's go. Let's wedding it up, shall we? Alright. Off we off we jet set. Off we go. Let's get them married, shall we? <laughs> uh, oh my god. Oh, oh yeah. Beautiful. Oh so Tan tan you going too fast? I'm going We've done uh, extensive calculations of the trajectory of the sun and have determined that this right here should be a safe place to sit. But um, car, if there are people who need uh, shade seats, we might have to give up our... We, we will move if we have it. You're shiny. I'm no, no, no. like sweaty. Can you show me again? Oh, sweaty Betty. <laughs> Okay, so this wedding was a literal fairy tale come true. It was so beautiful. Thank you so much, Carlo and Selena, for inviting us to join you in your celebrations. And I wish you both a lifetime of happiness, of course. I ate so much already, and this is an Italian wedding, so I thought I'm done. But it appears that I've only just had the starter, and now 
the first is coming and then the mini meal will <laughs> Welcome to Italy. <laughs> All right, people. Hello, darling. Someone stole my toothbrush last night. Yeah, who did that? <laughs> so now I'm at Hello. first rest stop. We're buying a toothbrush, but also we hit the road. And then uh, pack again, repack, back, and then leave on the on the big journey. U.S. of A. U.S. of A. But uh, we had an incredible time. Yeah. Buy yeah. food. Yeah. Sei stato meraviglioso. Sei stato stupendo. You know the drill. If you enjoyed my content, please like and subscribe. Next up, I'm embarking on a huge trip around the globe, so eager to show you guys what I'll get up to. Ciao!